ladies and gentlemen, all right, all right, all right. We are talking about U.S. investigates suspected energy attack near the White House. That's right. This is the second time it's happened, I think. The first time was in was it Puerto Rico or somewhere else. We will dive into it. But this was retweeted by Alan Boyle. Strange days indeed. And this seems like the perfect story because um, I got like a day and a half left in my May Day May fundraiser. And once again, just like five months ago, I, my PayPal isn't working. I cannot get into my cash app. And my Venmo, I haven't seen anything come through there. So I can't even get in my cash up. So none of the digital shit is working again. So I have $739 left to raise. And, um, but if you want to support Thor news, the only way to do it this month, I'm going to need a miracle through the snail mail. T Lewison, 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. I would definitely love to keep doing this as your plant trade defense commander. I would definitely love to make it into hurricane season and do my best to give you guys the best hurricane season coverage as I have done the last seven years. So if you would like to save me and send a miracle my way through the old USPS, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And you guys did it last December and every, they do this like every six months or so. And every time they've done it, y'all have saved me. So I'm grateful for that. Anywho. Everybody's always attacking everybody all the time, man. All right, we're at the CBS Evening News. U.S. investigates suspected energy attack near White House. This came out May 1st. Last updated, May 1st. Law enforcement agencies are investigating two possible direct energy attacks on government employees on U.S. soil. And remember, one of the things that is weird is that the people who love crypto are talking about they want to attack and overtake the dollar. So these are crazy times indeed. One of the suspected energy attacks occurred on the south side of the White House. Uh-oh. Ads. I remind Joel again. Remember back in like 2015 when they um, shut off all the power in the White House and the Pentagon? And like I've talked about before, since JFK, like you either... Do what they tell you to do or people end up dying. So, But we are definitely in a strange, strange world now. But yeah, one of the suspected energy attacks occurred on the south side of the White House in November and is believed to have sickened White House aid. That incident followed a similar one in 2019 in a Virginia suburb which reportedly injured an aide walking her dog. And overall, this story is really, really, really weird, right? How do they know? The alleged victims' conditions are not known. But the White House confirmed that President Biden has briefed on the incidents. Senators are demanding answers on the mystery attacks. And I, other than Alan, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this, and I definitely don't see it in the mainstream media. So it is definitely interesting. There are personnel who have been harmed. We need to make sure that they get the care and benefits they need, New Hampshire Senator Jeanine Shahini said. Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines said leaders are focused on the critically important issue. But officials say it's too early to tell what happened. In the past, the National Security Agency has described an energy attack as a high-powered microwave system weapon that can bathe the target's living quarters in microwaves and kill an enemy over time and without leaving as evidence. That's some science right there. And I have noted many times that in 2020 and 2021, the amount of people that are dying is way, way, way up. There was supposedly a super duper white hat hacker named Dan or white hat in the data security field. He was 42. He died the other day. Dan Kaminsky, San Francisco native and pioneer of internet security dies at age 42. Last time I heard, nobody knew how or why he died, but the outpouring of people in the data security field who said that he was just a genuinely a great guy who helped and taught so many people, it was a large outpouring. He died on the 23rd. He was a co-founder of Chief Scientist of White Ops, a computer security company, and previously worked for Cisco, IAVIA, IO Active, and he was the Director of Penetration Testing. 
So, you know, and still to this day, I, I'm not sure how he died. But high-powered microwave st system weapon that can bathe a target's living quarters in microwaves and kill an enemy over time without leaving evidence. That's just, see, we live in such a crazy world. And even the fact that I've survived this long and I'm still alive, it's amazing. Like, no no one knows how long you're going to live, I'm going to live. That's definitely a high-profile pro pro job. Um, energy or tax are, were suspected in Cuba and China in the past few years as U.S. personnel reported symptoms of ear popping, pounding headaches, and nausea. The symptoms have been referred to as Havana Syndrome. Sources tell CBS News that they have been energy-directed attacks on U.S. personnel in multiple continents. While Russia is considered a main suspect, U.S. officials are currently skeptical that Moscow would have carried out an attack just steps from the White House. And, like I said, the big battle right now seems to be that, like, cryptocurrency is the dominating. It is trying to be the biggest currency in the world of a world with 215 or more currencies. And so, I, I don't know. I don't, I think Russia would want to avoid mutually assured destruction. I think China wants to avoid mutually assured destruction. Most major superpowers do. But the, we live in the most interesting times. But who knows? Catherine Werner, who worked for the Department of Commerce in China, told 60 Minutes about her experience. I woke up in the middle of the night, Werner said. I could feel the sound in my head. It was intense pressure on both of my temples. At the same time, I heard this low humming sound as it was oscillating. And I remember looking around for where the sound was coming from because it was painful. All right, so nobody knows, but we definitely live in very strange times. And it's just like when the Joker said it's about sending a message. Someone is definitely trying to send a message. Uh, and so with the giant crypto takeover of all things, digital currency, who knows what's going to happen next. And I don't know for sure that that is connected, but... You know, who, who was, who, who was, who are the number one pandemic profiteers? And you, you know, it's the saying of follow the money that who's done the best over the last year and four months. And that, that's pretty clear anyway. And so I have been under attack. Can't use any of my digital contribution devices where I accept so I can get my planetary defense commander monthly salary. And that is stressful because monday is rent we'll see what happens my life is always a cliffhanger but if you would like to be the miracle i need in this moment um any contribution will be greatly accepted but you have to do it through snail mail t lewison 5430 birdwood road number 416 houston texas 77096 i have given you guys my all for eight years at thor news and would like to keep doing it but you know, it, it gets harder and harder every year and every month because there, there are people that are definitely trying to control the narrative. And I did not join their Grand Solar Minimum group a while back. Well, I'm not saying that to them. I'm just saying things are weird, man. Like, but, and I'd like to stick around for hurricane season. So any type of donation would be appreciated. I'm like $1,739 away from our goal. We'll see what happens. Um, but thank you to Mona, Ann, Jason, Andrea, James, and Margaret who got it in before things got really, really, really weird. But God bless everyone. I love you either way. And I love and forgive my hackers and my attackers. It's a weird world. I'm going out with love and forgiveness. And that's just the kind of guy I am. Hey, thank y'all. You guys are great. Stay cool. And I will talk to y'all in the near future.